everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing today? Guess what time it is? I hope by now you recognize this cover and all this fun goodness over here. Uh, this is the My Year Challenge and, or uh, not challenge, it's the My Year New Prompt. Yay! I get to be the first week again this month. Don't ask me how, I don't know. Um, but what I do want to do is share the prompt with you and I'm actually going to take a unique um, look at this because my journal is primarily about art. I do my own personal journals when it comes to, you know, my daily things, my feelings, that sort of thing. So this, this I'm focusing on art. Now, the prompt is my loved ones, okay? I'm not going to do a prompt on my loved ones, meaning my family, my friends, my grandchildren, you know, sisters, brothers, all that. I'm not doing that. So my loved ones, because my explorations of me is art-based, is going to be the supplies that I love the most and why, okay? So with that being said, let's go through, what do we have? Where's our, here's June. We did our artist. Uh, this was growth and uh, strength and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. So we played around with that. We did our little, <laughs> that was fun. That was fun to do, drawing. And here we go, we are in July. So July is gonna be our loved ones. And this, I found this card, I don't know, it was just sitting here. So I'm gonna put this in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I gotta get my calendar, should be right here. Make sure we get it, yes it is. Uh, we're going to put our calendar in, and for our pages, I'm going to decorate the pages a little bit. I'm not going to do a whole lot, because what I want to do in the next couple lessons is, or not lessons, yeah, lessons. I want to show you the different products that I love, why I love them, and what I do with those products, okay? So for today, we're going to start out just by decorating this um, page. And I want to grab some stamps and I have some new stencils that I want to try out. So let me grab those up and we'll be right back and we'll play. All right, so here's the first supply that we're going to do that I just absolutely love. And that is stamps, mark making tools, stamps. Uh, this I got from Crystal Kitzman, uh, which was really, really cool. All she's got is these little bee dots. Oops, hang on. See the little dots? And they're glued on this top and it's fantastic I love making marks with this okay there's one uh, these are silicone mats that I am always on the hunt for different patterns and when I do find them I usually cut it in fours and I send three out to other people so these I really like these are just really cool they're you know easy they're you know they don't take a lot of storage especially if you don't have the great big ones I mean you can keep the big one and use it I just prefer the little ones this one is eh, okay and as a matter of fact I will show you how it works and I'm just going to just use an archival ink okay and I just kind of get some ink on it all right and there you go so there's one. I mean, like I said, it's just, to me, ah, uh, it's okay. Um, I'm not real fond of, I don't know, I'm just not real fond of the pattern. I think it's because it just, it looks too blotchy to me, all right? But there's one of them. The, the, this one, you know what? I don't think I've tried this one. Hold on, let me see. Let's try this one. Let's see what this one does. Bet you it's going to be kind of cool. Well, that's cool. It's different right so when you're in the stores especially your discount stores I, I, I always check like Tuesday morning um, I check in uh, you know dollar stores anywhere I go I look for silicone mats and I just I happen to know what I have on hand at home so I try not to 
you know, pick up the same pattern, which I've so far been really good at not picking it up. Again, this is a square one. I'm going to show you this one. Okay, I love. I just love using these. They're so easy, so simple. You just clean them off, and it's okay. I know I'm making a busy background, but I don't care. I'm showing you what I love. Here's another one, and this is the hexagon one. This is the bigger hexagon. There is a smaller hexagon one, which I'm not sure where it is, but this is the bigger one, which is okay. Right? So we're just putting down some randomness here. We have the lines. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> I gotta show you this one. It's a flip flop. All right, then there's some handmade stamps in there and then there's just regular stamps. But I wanna bring out the ones that I really love, which, let me grab my handmade ones. These are ones, carved stamps. This, um, just so you guys know, this is an old jar of something. I can't remember what it was, but it was a plastic jar and I just cut the top off. I used some duct tape and I just made it into a little container for stuff. So just an idea for you. This is a flip flop. I always look for new patterns on the flip flops, but normally they keep doing the same one. And I'll show you what that is. Can you see the real tiny lines? Try again. See it? See the real tiny lines? That's the flip flop on one side. Let's just get rid of the ink off it so I don't end up with ink all over my hands. And then this is the other side, which is little bumps. Traction, I guess. There's little bumps. And again, same thing. Anytime I go in the dollar store, especially in the summertime, I always go over and I look at their flip-flops and see if there's a different pattern that has come out yet. And so far, it's all the same pattern. So hopefully someday somebody will make different flip-flops. This one's got the lines on it. And again, this background's getting busy. I don't care. It's all good. This just has your, you know, your more square lines, right? All right. So there's the silicone stamps that I love to use. The flip-flop. This is the one that Crystal made for me, which I love. It just has little dots. So cool. Little dots all over the place. Boy, this is going to be stamp heaven by the time I get done with it. <laughs> it's all good. Sorry. These are um, hand carved stamps and you've seen me do this. This is with an eraser and they are by no means perfect, but I think that's what I love the most about them is they are so completely imperfect. They don't, um, you know, they're not perfect shapes. They, they're just fun. Aren't they fun? Look at that. It's just so fun. Let's do one more right here. And we'll take the last. Okay, so I use these quite a bit. And then here's another one which is just zig, you know, little wiggly lines. I actually have wiggly lines on both sides. I have them on this side and on that side. So here's the two wiggly line. And I'll show you the other side, which is lots of wiggly lines. All right, so this is my very first love, is stamps. And you know, I'm not even talking yet about the bought stamps, which I, I don't wanna go into right now, but. So this is my very first loved art supply. Now, I wanna get this in here. I'm gonna dry this real quick because I've still got some wet ink. Let me dry it real quick, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have, that's pretty well dried up. Got this washi tape. It says love on it. All right, and I have my calendar, and I want my calendar in here. And believe it or not, it, I don't do work on these calendars, but you don't know how many times I'll step over to them and, and see, you know, what I've got going on or, or just even see the date. It's not so much about what I've got going on. All right, so I want to take this calendar 
And this is another thing that I love. And like everybody else, we all have hordes of it. And that is washi tape. There's just something about all of the designs that are out there in the washi tape world that, you know, you got to have, have them. you got to have them. So washi is another one of my loves. My loves. So let's just, we're going to washi this in. All right. I like that one. That one's, that one's a real pretty tape. All right, so there's my July calendar, and hopefully that washi will stay down. Now this we are going to put in here, and I'm going to take up this whole page because the next couple pages I've got a pocket here. we got to do our book review, but I want this here because what I'd like to do, if it'll work for me, Is it gonna last? You know what I'm gonna do? Just because I have a feeling this isn't gonna last. Uh, come on. No, it won't let go of me. I am just going to glue this down. It's one thing about washi, I don't quite trust it. Now I'm just catching the very end of that, which is fine because I'm going to do the same thing up here. And this is torn, not cut. I don't care. I'm not OCD about that stuff. This is just my play, have fun book. I hope you guys are all enjoying the My Year. We, we really have fun um, doing the assignment. I don't want to call them assignments, but doing the prompts and, and giving you guys the inspiration to hopefully take it and, and go your own way with it. You know, it's just a lot of fun. Now I want to find something else. I don't want that one. Let's see. I have a huge, huge container of washi over here. Let's see what we can find. Got the blue. You know what? Let's put these girls in here. This washi, I don't even know where I got it, but I wish I could figure it out and get more. You'll see in a minute. Look at these girls. Isn't she cool? I think so. I just don't know where I got it. Um, maybe on... See, I'm trying to think where I got it, and I'm thinking maybe on... Wish.com, maybe? I'm not really sure. But those girls are really cool. I'm going to put a couple more of them over here because there's, I think, four girls on this roll. So we're going to put one here. So again, here's my second love is these is washi. I just, I love the washi. Yeah, there's four girls on here. So you're going to see all four of the girls. So now we're going to take, I'm going to take a regular pen, this is a Sharpie, and the first thing we talked about was the silicone. Stamps. Alright, and then the second one we're going to do is washi. All right, so I hope that's going to give you guys a start on, you know, what what supplies do you love? What, how do you want to take this month's prompt, your loved ones, okay, and how do you want to create something around that in your journal? Now, just because I'm not doing my loved ones, a.k.a. my husband, my grandchildren, all that, doesn't mean that you guys can't do that. Absolutely. I have so many pages dedicated to my husband and I that I just I didn't want to do another one. And again, this whole book is based on art, my growth, what I've done, creativity. And I am going to continue with 
the different supplies that I love, why I love them, and we're going to incorporate those into the next few pages. So I hope that's good to get you guys started, start thinking about it, and we would love to see what you do. Don't forget to share your videos uh, with us. We, we all, all four of us, myself, Jerry, Ann, and Gina, love watching your videos. So, like I said, absolutely share. And as always, have a great day. Have fun. That's what life's all about and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!